For these questions, you're going to have to name the underlined digits place. So let's look at the, the directions. It says write the name of the place, the underlined digit, and a digit, remember, is just a single number, is in. You're going to use this code, O for ones, TTH for tenths, and HTH for hundredths. So let's do some examples. When you're finding the place that a decimal is in, first find that decimal. So that's the first step, is just to locate the decimal. So on number one, we can see that the decimal's right here. Well, always, always to the left of the decimal is the ones place. So this would be the ones place. We can see up here in our chart, our decimal, always the spot to the left is the ones place. The spot to the right of the decimal is the tenths place. And the two spots to the right of the decimal is the hundredths place. So we see that the underlying digit is two spots from the decimal, so this is the hundredths place. So we would write the code HTH, hundredths. So let's look at number two. First off, find the decimal. The decimal's right here. So this would be the ones place, and this would be the tenths place. So we would write the code TTH. Okay, so if we look at number three, first we find the decimal. To the left is the ones place. To the right is the tenths place. And to the right of that is the hundredths place. So that wow. one is in the hundredths place. Okay, we'll look at one more. So the first step is to find the decimal. Place directly to the left is the ones place. So in this case, the place is in the ones place. All right, you do the rest on your own. And if you have any trouble, just go back and rewatch the video. Good luck.